In this lesson, we're going to be going over 13.1, classifying triangles. In the lesson, we're going to learn how to classify triangles by their side lengths and angle measures. The first kind of triangle that we're going to talk about is equilateral triangles. When you look at the word equilateral, you can see the word equal in it. And so that will help you remember that in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are of equal length. To represent sides that have an equal length, we can draw a little line on each of the sides to show that they are the same length. The next kind of triangle that we're going to talk about is an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, two sides have an equal length. And when we are looking at an isosceles triangle, we want to mark the two sides that are of equal length with those two lines we talked about before to show that those are the two sides that are equal. So in triangle DEF, the sides FD and DE are equal to each other. The third type of triangle that we can classify according to the length of the sides is called a scalene triangle. In a scalene triangle, all three sides have different lengths. So if we look at triangle GHI, we can see that GI has a length of 2 inches, GH has a length of 3 inches, and IH has a length of 4 inches. Equilateral triangles, isosceles triangles, and scalene triangles are the three types of triangles that we can classify according to the lengths of sides. Now we're going to look at how to identify triangles based on their angles. The first kind of triangle we're going to talk about is a right triangle. And a right triangle, just like it sounds, is going to have a right angle in it. So in the example, we have triangle PQR. And angle R is a right angle. A right triangle will only have one right angle. And we can mark our right angle by drawing a little square in the corner. Sometimes a right triangle can also be classified as an isosceles triangle. In this example, in triangle ABC, angle C is a right angle and the side lanes AC and CB are equal to each other. The next kind of triangle we're going to talk about when classifying a triangle by its angles is an obtuse triangle. And in an obtuse triangle, one of the angles is going to be greater than 90 degrees. So in triangle STU, the measure of angle S is greater than 90 degrees, which makes triangle STU an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle can also be a scalene or an isosceles triangle. The third type of triangle that we can classify according to angles is an, called an acute triangle. And in an acute triangle, all the angles in the triangle are acute angles, which means that they are all less than 90 degrees. So in triangle XYZ, the measures of all three angles are going to be less than 90 degrees. An acute triangle can be an equilateral, isosceles, or a scalene triangle. When thinking about the angles in a triangle, it's important to remember that the three angles of a triangle will add up to 180 degrees.